Goody home is the sick show. Cute fancy in the he 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 And today is Sunday. December 27th, so happy Sunday. And this is the vlog where I talk about season two. Season one is over. I um I'm going to talk about what is going on in Season 2, what we'll be doing, things that I want to do for Season 2. Season 1 went way longer than I wanted it to. It consisted of 208 vlogs, which I only wanted my seasons to be 200 vlogs. And they'll probably start being 100 vlogs, but they'll probably be 200 vlogs. 200 vlogs takes me about uh, 9 months to film, and I feel like 9 months is the growth of a child. And this is our first season, so I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm going to take a break. Um, someone was walking past. I'm gonna take a break after posting this vlog. I'm gonna take a couple of days off so that I can film a new intro, give y'all the new song, get things together for season two. But I will be back after the new year, so happy new year! I will show the things that we did. Um, and I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna post maybe outtakes or deleted scenes video. I saw some other people do that, and it's a great idea, and I had thought about doing it before. Um, I'm thinking about doing a meet and greet for my birthday, which is in March, so I'm going to be planning that. So I just need some days to, to do that, to get my thoughts together, to get my house organized for the new year, because you are not supposed to go into the new year with a cluttered and messy house. You are not supposed to go into the new year without having money in the bank. You are not supposed to go into the new year with negativity and untied uh, strings into the new year so I just got to do some planning I'm gonna be starting a new job so you're gonna be seeing me you know working working out I want to do some skits I finally like got in contact with the people um, there's three people that I want to do a skit series with a funny series and you know I've talked to most of them and I want to do it so you're going to be seeing that soon. So I got to figure out the details of that. And I'm just very tired, y'all. Um, I've been doing a lot this last month. I, I wasn't feeling well today. I slept the most of the day because when I get stressed out, I get a boil under my arm. And that is like the most painful thing to deal with. And plus, I'm weaning my son off my boob. And it's just, it's just stressful. Um, also, we are going to talk about some things that are really like emotional for us. And... We haven't talked about them because, you know, people are people are judgmental, people are mean, and I just wanted to see what kind of people are watching me before I open myself all the way up. Now, I tell y'all a lot of shit about me, but I don't tell everything. I don't go all the way into everything. It's like, you see a lot of my day, but you don't see everything I do all day long. So, you know, people have questions about my daughter. People have questions about the other kids that, that we have. As you know, I have a daughter. And I have a son, and I have three stepchildren. You have seen, you have, if you've watched every single vlog, then you've seen, you've seen all of them. You've, you've even seen my daughter. You've only seen a picture of her. She's never been on the sick show. Because, for one, because she doesn't, I don't think she approves of me taping things. And I haven't seen her since I've been doing these vlogs. And you'll ask why. And I will talk about that in season two. So stay tuned. The, you're asking, is she going to college? Yes, she's going to college. She's 18 years old. And her and I don't have the best relationship. And, you know, you ask why. I'll answer that in season two. I'll tell you why. We'll talk about, we are, the reason that we don't talk about our other children is because there are, there are uncomfortable situations that have happened with the parents. You know, people, people that are in our families and stuff tell us, don't put all your business out there. You put, you know, you put your, you talk about your business, you'll never see your kids. So we don't talk about them and the situations that go on with them because we feel as though if we talk about that stuff on the show, then that'll prevent us from having relationships with them. But as you see, we don't talk about it and we still don't have flourishing relationships with them um and it has a lot to do with the other parents that's i'm gonna leave it at there there right now you since you, if you are on the ride with the sick show hopefully you will see us have better relationships with our other children and maybe you'll see them on the show this is not like Tiny and, and T.I. where it, we have a blended family that all is good and, and, and merry and stuff like that and we would love it to be that way. We would, we would love it. We had, we had plans 
for things that we would do with our kids and, and take them, you know, on trips and stuff like that. But when birthdays come when birthdays come around, like our birthday, you know, we don't get, get calls. My husband just had a birthday and but his kids didn't call him. They didn't, you know, send in a birthday shout out or a phone call or come over or anything like that. You all didn't see you all did see my birthday, um, in season one and you didn't see, you know, my daughter in that or Come, she didn't come around for my birthday. Mother's Day came. We didn't see, you know, that his his kids did come for Father's Day, you know, which is the first Father's Day ever, ever. But you know, I'm gonna talk about me. I'll let him talk about him when when he's ready to talk about about him. But you know, my my situation, you know, with my daughter is not like what I would want it to be. Um, a lot of it has to do with us being remarried um, and the things that our children are told about, you know. When people get remarried to other people, it, you know, it, it's not like, oh, yeah, you know, you're going to have a, a stepdad and it's going to be great. More things are told like your mom was never going to get married again or have a baby. And then it makes, you know, the, my daughter feel like, you know, I'm putting her to the side or, you know, whatever else. So, you know, a lot of instances I'm, I'm going to just speak for myself is that, you know, my child wasn't raised right. She wasn't raised the way that, you know, I wouldn't have wanted her to, to be raised. But that's what happens when people have a child and their relationship isn't good and they break up and the child is torn from, you know, person to person. And, you know, most people, most women, you know, will put a man on child support and raise the, the child by themselves so they can tell, say, he a deadbeat, he a deadbeat, he don't do nothing for his kid. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't choose that. I didn't choose to put the man on child support. I wanted him to be a part of her life. You know, he he remarried and he had other kids and I wanted her to be raised with the family. We had joint custody, so we, we did that. But, you know, primarily as, as time went on, I was a single mother and I didn't want her to be raised by a single mother. I didn't want her to be raised like that. And people look at me and, and say I'm a deadbeat because I didn't want her to have that. But I wanted her to be raised in a family with a, with a mother, a father, a brother and sister. And then, you know me as the extra parent and it ain't nothing wrong with that but people will see something wrong with it and that's why i don't talk about that shit but all the things that you see that i, I do for my son i did that stuff for her she graduated when she was 17 years old she started school when she was four years old who you think where you think she got that from Does all this it wasn't i didn't have a camera to record the stuff like i do for him so all the all the stuff that he does and you know the things that he learned i, I taught her that stuff too that's how i know to do it with him you know she was very advanced. She's very smart. You don't graduate when you're 17 if you're not smart. I want to be comfortable with hearing people judge me and the bullshit that come along with, you know, the opinions that people have when you don't know the situation. And I can explain the situation all up and down, but, you know, there's still going to be some people that's going to point the finger at me, tell me that I'm wrong, tell me I should do this or whatever, and not give constructive, you know, criticism because that's what I've been dealing with my whole life with my situation concerning my oldest child. So most times I just don't talk about it because I don't want to have to, you know, get mad at people. So if you if y'all want to really hear the story, if y'all are going to be, you know, supportive of the story, if y'all are going to be understanding of the story because you, you love and understand me, then I'll tell it. But if y'all gonna be on some bullshit, then, you know, I'll tell the, after I tell the story, then I'm not gonna talk about it again. And, and maybe the things that, you know, I have to share with everybody. You know, I, I feel like my situation can help somebody. I do. Because I'm not, there are a lot of mothers that, you know, choose to be part-time mothers and let the father raise the kid. But people don't, people don't talk about it. Just like Monice from um, Love and Hip Hop. Kind of similar, but we'll talk about it. I just want to do, I just, I want to, that's what I, I want to get closer to my viewers. I want to do more traveling. I want you, I want to attend some of the, the vlogger, you know, the vlogger trips and stuff like that that they have going on, um, this year, if, if money allows. Okay. I want to get a new car, because well, we're going to need two cars, so you show, you can buy another hoopty. I just basically want to get my life organized this year, so I will be showing that. And then having more fun, y'all. We had, we didn't have enough fun this year on season one. It was my first season. And just learning the ropes and stuff like that. Um, I want to get new editing software. So, you know, because I told you the, the struggles with that. New editing software so my videos can be better. I want to get better with that. So just more. More, more drama. More comedy. More adventure. More rawness. You have to get like that rawness. From the six shows, uh, Tivish and Saturn Q are going to come on and say thank you to you all for all the gifts. I'm thanking y'all for just rolling with us for the past nine months 
on the sixth show and just wow we have grown when we started um we had 1400 subscribers we're over 2700 subscribers we're almost at 190,000 views <laughs> okay okay um we have got some of the best sickos i would say on the internet because y'all are rocking with us i don't care about the number of sickos okay but i have some loyal down family that watches us and we we we'll take that any day over having a bunch of fake you know mother you know watching our shit and trying to be dogging us and stuff like that so we appreciate that if, it, if it's just a hundred of people you know what i mean and y'all loyal y'all down and y'all y'all rolling with us that's what we love and we thank you and we appreciate it and we love it and and we are excited about you know just seeing how far this youtube journey is going to take us and you know just seeing how we can improve as 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 people like i want to do more volunteering you know and and helping people and i found some organizations that um we can like donate to and be a part of something and, and it's my dream like to one year be able to like have like a function like you know around the holidays or even if it, it's not the holidays because people are are you know struggling throughout the holiday i mean when it's not the holidays and where i can afford to like buy a bunch of food get some volunteers we cook up the food and then we serve it like a kitchen and like have that somewhere and like invite people and like make a difference and i just really want to do that i really want to do that one day i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it so that's what that's that's what this show is going to be about us growing as a family us overcoming <clears throat> obstacles and challenges not focusing on the past and the negative but the things that are past from our past that are negative trying to somehow make that better and on that note i will see you all in 2016 thank you all for watching thanks for subscribing and we love you from the bottom of our hearts